and welcome to Shanghai Eye. I'm Wang Ying. Hello, I'm He Jian. China's AI-powered early warning solution Mazu made its debut at the 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference, and it's already going global. During the WAIC opening ceremony, the China Meteorological Administration handed over Mazu urban agents to Djibouti and Mongolia, marking a bold step in the fight against climate-induced weather risks. But what exactly is Mazu, and how can this cutting-edge technology help nations predict the impact of disasters, save lives, and protect the communities? Stephen Rancor stopped by the WAIC to have a look. All the、uh, environmental disasters significantly impact infrastructure: the roads, the transportation system, the power stations. Early warning systems save lives, save properties. Two years ago, during the harsh winter, we lost more than 20 million livestock, heads of livestock.、Uh, due to that, the AI-powered meteorology, especially for early warning, is more important、uh, than before. When it comes to the impact of severe weather events, much of it is out of our control. But one of the things that is under our control is how we react to severe weather, or pre-act in this case. I'm at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference right here in Shanghai, where the China Meteorological Administration has unveiled its brand new AI-powered solution for early warnings, Matsu Urban. Let's go take a look. And that is Matsu Urban. Right now, I'm standing in the booth at the WAIC conference. This is the CMA booth where they're showing off their new AI-powered forecasting and early warning system. Matsu stands for Multi-Hazard Alert Zero Gap and Universal. The name is taken from Chinese mythology. Matsu was a shamaness from Fujian Province who was elevated to the status of a goddess after her death. She was, and still is, worshipped by Chinese sailors and seafarers all over the world. So this is the city-level interface of the CMA's early warning network. Now Matsu is the overall solution. Matsu Urban is the AI agent that cities will use and incorporate into their existing early warning systems in order to make things a whole lot more efficient. This is the city-level interface of the CMA's early warning network. Matsu Urban is the AI agent that 第一类呢，就是全球的各种气象部门；另外一类呢，就是城市管理者。因为气象部门它只能做出预报，但是真正要把城市带动起来，要及时的响应，需要城市管理者。第三类呢，就是面向市民。面向市民的话呢，我们是和传音手机合作，在非洲百分之六十的人使用传音手机。那么在上面安装了我们的这个马祖本的 A P P， 他们大家可以通过这个及时获取预警信息，并且上面会告诉他你的逃生通道在哪里，呃，最近的救助点在哪里。Pilot program for Mat Square Urban was launched in January of this year. Since then, it's been used in 35 different countries and regions across Africa, Asia, and Oceania. It was announced at this year's WAIC that the China Meteorological Administration is gifting Matsu Urban Systems to countries of Djibouti and Mongolia. We have six ports in Djibouti. In this port, we put a good infrastructure of the meteorological warning service to help all the ports of Djibouti. I am very impressed what I hear about this system, not in terms of technology only, but also by the extent. How much the、uh, government helping other countries beyond China to use the system? There are collaborations established、uh, with other countries, so that means that the, this、uh, technology and these advances do not stay here. They can be shared. They can be shared openly. And I think the potential of AI is that it is really、um, it is cheaper, it, it is quicker,、uh, it is very、uh, comprehensive. And、um, as we can see today,、um, also maybe more accurate. I think as WMO, we, we are also very grateful for China hosting the regional training centers, and also with this new、um, center for urban、uh, early warning to provide these training opportunities, scholarship opportunities、uh, to the other countries. Matsu Urban is the first product spearheaded and promoted by the Shanghai Meteorological Service to be made available globally. Earlier this summer, meteorological experts from 21 countries and regions gathered in Shanghai for a seminar and training program on the system. 
Shanghai has been working with the World Meteorological Organization on multi-hazard early warnings for more than two decades. In the near future, much of this experience and early warnings, risk assessments, and capacity building is sure to be shared with more countries around the world. From social media sensations to WAIC's massive robot showcase, humanoid robots are reshaping our understanding of embodied intelligence. These multitaskers are advancing quickly. They're not just dancing or running marathons, but transforming the education, manufacturing, and service sectors. Let's meet some robots driving this transformation. In Shanghai, you might spot robots playing drums or even directing traffic. At this year's WAAC, advanced robotic demonstrations were on display from dance performances to AI-assisted massage robots. More than 150 humanoid robots debuted at the exhibition, making it China's largest ever showcase of humanoid robotics. Only a few months ago, a humanoid robot marathon was held in Beijing. This humanoid robot features slender bipedal legs, stands 1.7 meters tall, and weighs 32 kilograms. It can run at a maximum speed of 1.5 meters a second and operate continuously for three to five hours in a single charge. Humanoid robots aren't just running marathons. They're also making an impact in smart manufacturing, healthcare, and the service industry. They're changing from simply executing tasks to thinking intelligently. Dianduzama 人类的所有的表情、语言等等各方面来进行应用，来回答一些问题啊，这这些都是可以做到的。In education, robots are fostering creativity. The Shanghai-based company specializes in AI-powered educational robots. 做了三到二十二岁的整个的完整的体系，我们又发现青少年的需求其实又是一个很多元的，所以我们建立了通过满足玩、学、赛、研四个层级的需求相关的布局。In 2024, the company sold more than one million units, claiming the top spot in global educational robot sales. 我们现在整个全球进入了六十一个国家及地区，那么随着我们的AI大模型的一个使用，随着我们整个规模化的量产实现，其实是可以让整个的。According to a report from the Humanoid Robot and Embodied AI Conference, the Embodied AI market in China is projected to reach 529.5 million yuan, with 27% global share by 2025, while the market for humanoid robots is estimated to be worth 823.9 million yuan, capturing almost half of the global share. In today's Shanghai A to Z, we recommend some delicious pizza restaurants as there are plenty of delicious options in the city. Let's take a look. The first one, Bottega. As Asia's most awarded pizzeria, the restaurant holds the title of Best Pizzeria China. Its Naples-style pizza is its claim to fame as the tomatoes for the sauce must be San Marzano tomatoes, and the dough must be made from medium-strength, finely ground wheat flour. 
I highly recommend the calzone here, which is a folded pizza that first made an appearance in Naples in the 18th century. The restaurant has scored a win for Shanghai's best calzone. And the second one, Cages. It is Shanghai's most successful all-in-one live sports bar and serves up six varieties of Chicago-style deep dish pizzas just one day every month. With a history dating back to 1943 in Chicago, the deep dish pizza is cooked in a deep circular pan, so the buttery crust stacks at least a few finger widths high. A single pizza can easily feed an entirely family as the average pie clocks in at a whopping three kilograms. And three, home slice. The restaurant claims the title as Shanghai's most ordered New York-style pizza, which is typically a relatively thin crust, foldable triangular slice topped with tomato sauce, melted mozzarella, and any variety of toppings like pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, spinach, Canadian bacon, and yes, even pineapple. As one of the world's most distinguished and popular styles, New York pizza is America's version of the Neapolitan Margarita. If you've got a question for us, you can find us on all the socials. We'd love to hear from you. You can find our content online as well. And join us here on Dragon TV, Monday to Friday. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.